point in our evolution, humans gathered together. They sought safety and security against a harsh environment. From here, man created the fabric of a community and set the stage for the emergence of human culture. Other animal groups have cultures, some of them very sophisticated, but none as complex as our own, and none which take place in a world of their own making. Our culture is made up of many things. Science, technology, art, religion, fashion. From generation to generation, that culture is transmitted through books, television, music, most importantly, through words, through language. From mute beginnings millions of years ago, there are now approximately 5,000 different languages on Earth. Language is a primary tool of human culture and of human evolution. As our ancestors began to speak, they passed on knowledge and grew ever more sophisticated. From age to age, we have refined our tools and skills. This has enabled us to graduate from simple, fragile dwellings to cities of enormous size, complexity and power. We derive pleasure from what we create. We enjoy the skills we possess. Our ability to imagine, to think beyond the physical, sets us apart from all other species. In our religions and in our arts, our humanity is expressed in a sense of something spiritual something beyond the confines of mortality and evolution. But however sophisticated our culture becomes, there is no guarantee it will last. Throughout the history of our species, human cultures and civilizations have come and gone. The ancient Greeks, the Romans, the ancient Egyptians, the Maya, the inhabitants of Easter Island. Today, cultures and languages are still disappearing. Is our own future guaranteed? By the year 1000, Man was laying the foundations of the modern world. By the year 2000, modern man spent over 30 years of his life on education and leisure. All year round, food growth and increased manufacture led to obesity for some. Global travel caused a huge expansion and mixture of the gene pool. Human beings never looked so diverse. By the year 3000, foods might have been modified to grow in any climate or terrain. 
the ability to control weather systems could mean humans might live anywhere on the planet. Population expansion on the Earth's surface might mean the growth of human communities underwater and in the upper atmosphere.